My mother said to my father, isn't that the ship that they say is unsinkable? And he said, no, this is the ship that is unsinkable. Altogether, I've had four shipwrecks and a fire during my 30 odd years at sea. But by far and away the worst of them all was the loss of the Titanic. The biggest and finest ship in the world. Eva Hart and Charles Lightholler, two survivors from the sinking of the Titanic, were their memories of one of the most famous disasters in history. The Titanic was a showcase of self-confident, ambitious Edwardian technology, the most luxurious and high-tech craft afloat. That also meant having state-of-the-art communications with Marconi wireless operators who could send and receive messages using Morse code. Over the years, the story has been told again and again, but the only real-time documentary evidence from the night are the wireless messages sent to and from the Titanic and other ships involved in the rescue attempt. Together, they provide a telegraphic narrative of the events of that desperate night 100 years ago. This is the Titanic in her own words. If you had an ear across the Atlantic that night, the Morse messages might have sounded like... But imagine what it would sound like if this mechanical language were to be given a 21st century voice. Titanic to Cape Race to Mrs. Milling in Denmark. I am very well. Calm weather. Wonderful ship. I am enjoying myself. Jacob. Titanic to Cape Race to AJ Sloper. New Britain. Arrive Wednesday. Titanic maiden voyage. Meet me. Vessel worth seeing. William. In this program, you're going to hear the story of the Titanic told through these messages, using speech synthesizers to give an impression of these dots and dashes chattering across the Atlantic. My name is Sean Cochran, and some years ago I wrote a book about what was then the biggest archive of these Marconi messages, gathered by the Titanic historian John Booth. It's always stayed with me that there was something almost painfully poignant about these messages, carefully copied down in copper plate handwriting, following the tale from misplaced optimism to the most awful disaster. Many were sent by one man, Jack Phillips, who at the age of 25 had probably the world's most glamorous job in this young industry. Here we join the story with a Titanic near enough to land to talk to a shore station, with Jack working on a backlog of messages. This is Cape Race to Titanic. To Miss Dorothy Gibson on Titanic. We'll do everything to make you completely happy. Love you, Matt Lee. Jules. Titanic to Cape Race. To Jules, New York City. Hardly wait to get back. Cable made me awfully happy. Love, Matsy. Titanic to Cape Race. To Belmont Hotel, New York. Reserve two double rooms with bath and single. Arriving Wednesday. Fortune. This is Baltic to Captain Smith Titanic. Have had moderate variable winds and clear fine weather since leaving. Wish you and Titanic all success. Titanic to Baltic. Thanks for your message and good wishes. Had fine weather since leaving. Captain Smith. Cape Race to Titanic. To Mr. Meyer, Titanic. Jane is fine. And sends you a kiss. This is Californian. Most of the messages were sent for fun by wealthy passengers. But between the ships, the wireless was just beginning to be used for serious information about safety. Ice warning. 42.3 north. 49.9 west. Three large bergs. Five mile to southward of us. It's all right. I heard you sending it to the Antillian. I have got it. These early days of wireless were a bit like an early version of Twitter. These short messages could be heard by anyone listening. There might be a reply, the message might be forwarded to other ships, or else it could be ignored. But many ships still didn't have any wireless, and many only had one operator. 
so when he was a sleeper off duty, the ship was effectively deaf to any messages being sent. At the centre of this were the Marconi operators, independent young men of the modern age, who had been promised an escape from the blind alley careers of their peers. As you'll hear, they like to use their own jaunty, mock upper-class slang, calling each other old man, or OM for short, something like today's LOL. They could also get in each other's way. Jack Phillips and the Titanic didn't want to be interrupted when he was trying to get a stack of messages sent. Titanic to Cape Race. To Mrs. Andrew Sachs, New York. Trip fine. Feeling splendid. Arrive Wednesday morning. Keep well. Love. Leilga. This is May Saba calling. Ice report. In latitude 42 to 41.25 north. Longitude 49 to 50.3 west. So much heavy pack ice. And great number of large icebergs. Also field ice. Weather good. Clear. This is Titanic. Receive. Thanks. Cape Race to Titanic. To Miss Dorothy Gibson Titanic. It causes no happiness without... Californian to Titanic. Californian to Titanic. Say, old man. We are stopped. And surrounded by ice. Keep out. Shut up. Shut up. I'm working Cape Race. Titanic to Cape Race. Sorry. Please repeat. Jammed. To Miss Dorothy Gibson Titanic. It it's now a quarter past eleven at night. International film star Dorothy Gibson, the Kate Winslet of her day, was one of the more glamorous passengers and was using wireless to continue a long-distance romance. Despite all the interruptions of the ice warnings, Jack Phillips is making maximum use of the contact with the land stations at Cape Race in Newfoundland. Notify all interested in poker. Al. Titanic to Cape Race. The America passed two large icebergs in 41.27 north, 50.8 west. Titanic to Cape Race. To Harrison Sanford, New York. Hello, boy. Dining with you in spirit tonight. Heart with you always. Best love. Girl. Titanic to Cape Race. George Simoding, New York. Weather delightful. Feeling fine. Hope all. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, Titanic to all ships. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. Position for 1.44 north. 50.24 west. Into the dark night, the signal CQD suddenly booms from the Titanic's transmitter. CQ, attention all ships. D, I am in distress. The ship had struck a massive iceberg and was ripped open below the waterline and would sink in a couple of hours. With only enough room in the lifeboats for half the passengers and crew, the captain turned to his only lifeline. He went to the wireless room and asked Jack Phillips to send a call for assistance. Across the freezing waters, the signal was so unbelievable that ships receiving their messages struggled to make sense of what they were hearing. Frankfurt calling Titanic. What is the matter? CQD, Titanic. Our position is for 1.44 north. 50.24 west. OK. Stand by. CQD, CQD, this is Titanic. Mount Temple to Titanic. What is the matter? Cannot read you, old man, but hear my position. For 1.44 north. 50.24 west. Come at once. Have struck a berg. Received. Will tell Captain. CQD. This is Titanic. CQD. CQD. This is Mount Temple. Titanic sending CQD. Says require assistance. Gives position. Cannot hear me. His position at 41.44 north, 50.24 west. CQD. This is Titanic. 
struck iceberg. This is Asian, calling Titanic. Titanic to Asian, CQD, want immediate assistance. Received. Will tell Captain. CQD. CQD. This is Titanic. Require assistance. This is Carpathia, calling Titanic. Old man. Do you know? That Cape Cod is sending a batch of messages for you. Come at once. We have struck a berg. It's a CQD old man. Position 41.46 north, 50.14 west. Shall I tell my captain? Do you require assistance? Yes, come quick. Jack Phillips knew Harold Cottam, the operator on the Carpathia. Here was a familiar voice who might be able to help. But he still carried on transmitting the distress signal in case there was anyone nearer at hand. CQD. Require assistance. Corrected position for 1.46 north, 50.14 west. Struck iceberg. CQD. This is Burma. Calling Titanic. What is your position? Position for 1.46 north, 50.14 west. Require immediate assistance. We have collision with an iceberg. Sinking. Can hear nothing for noise of steam. Mount Temple to Titanic. Our captain reverses ship. We are about 50 miles off. Titanic to Carpathia. We require immediate assistance. Carpathia to Titanic. Old man. We are 58 miles off. All right, old man. This is Olympic. The Olympic was the Titanic sister ship and the only other ship in the world with a transmitter as powerful as the Titanic's. But she was a long way off. This is Olympic, calling Titanic. Sending service message. Olympic calling Titanic. Carpathia to Titanic. Don't you hear the Olympic calling you? No, old man. I can't read him for rush of air and noise of steam. Carpathia to Titanic. Putting about and heading for you. Expect to arrive in four hours. Received. Thanks, old man. Frankfurt to Titanic. We are 172 miles off. Frankfurt? Are you coming to our assistance? What is the matter with you? We have struck an iceberg and sinking by the head. Please tell your captain to come to help. We are on the ice. Okay, I'll tell the bridge right away. Okay, yes, quick. At this stage, the Titanic's junior wireless operator, Harold Bride, joked with Jack Phillips that they may as well try the new international distress sign, SOS, because it might be the only chance they would ever have to use it. CQD, SOS, from Titanic. We have struck iceberg, sinking fast. Come to our assistance. Titanic to Californian. CQD. CQD. Struck iceberg. Sinking. Require immediate assistance. Cape Race to Californian. SOS from Titanic. CQD and 41.46 north, 50.14 west. Want immediate assistance. She was sending out both the CQD and the SOS. Walter Gray, friend of Jack Phillips, and officer in charge of the station at Cape Race, remembering the night. Now, the SOS had just recently come into practice. It was, uh, that was the official distress call. But prior to that, the CQD was the official. That, that was a Marconi manufactured one. It never had official recognition. But through practice, it, it had become officially recognized. So, Phillips recognized that the SOS had been so recent in operation that not all ships might recognize it. I think that's where he exercised very excellent judgment. So he would call CQD and then follow immediately with SOS. And then he, he kept that up every few minutes. CQD, CQD, I require immediate assistance. Coronia, to Baltic, SOS, from Titanic, CQD, in 41.46 north, 50.14 west, wants immediate assistance. Received. This is Mount Temple. Titanic calling SOS. This is Upiranga. Titanic of CQD. Info 1.46 north. 40.14 west. CQD. CQD. 
SOS, 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 CQD, CQD, this is Titanic. For 1.46 north, 50.14 west. This is Olympic, calling Titanic. Who has struck an iceberg? This is Titanic. We have struck an iceberg. Tell Captain. Received. Okay. CQD. CQD. Baltic to Titanic. SOS. Baltic to Titanic. SOS. SOS. This is Titanic. This is Olympic. This is Titanic. This is Virginian. SOS. Calling Titanic. CQD. This is Virginian. CQD. Calling Titanic. This is Titanic. Cape Race to Virginia. SOS. Report to your captain. SOS. The Titanic has struck iceberg and requires immediate assistance. Received. Olympic to Titanic. CQD. SOS. Olympic to Titanic. This is Titanic. Carpathia to Titanic. We have struck an iceberg and are sinking. We are coming your way. SOS. Coming at full speed. CQD. Doing 15 knots. Received. Frankfurt to Titanic. Position. We are coming to you for 1.46. Olympic to Titanic. Titanic to Olympic. We are in collision with the Berg. Sinking head down. Virginian calling Cape Race. For 1.46 north. Tell Titanic. 50. We are going to her assistance. 14 west. We are 170 miles north. Come soon as possible. Olympic to all stations. Virginian calling Cape Race. Olympic to all stations. This is Baltic. Stop talking. This is Baltic. Stop talking. Stop transmitting. Jamming. All stations stop talking. This is Olympic calling Titanic. Titanic to Olympic. Captain says, get your boats ready. What is your position? Baltic to Coronia. Please tell Titanic. We are making towards her. We are 243 miles east of Titanic. Cape Race to Titanic. The Virginian is going to your assistance. Their position, 170 miles north of Titanic. Received. Titanic to Baltic. Captain Smith says, get all your boats ready. Sinking. This is Chirania. Titanic, we are making for you. Keep in touch with us. Received. Olympic to Titanic. Our position is 505 miles south of you. Are you steering southerly to meet us? This is Titanic. We are putting the women off in the boats. Received. We are putting the women off in the boats. We are putting passengers off in small boats. Women and children in boats cannot last much longer. Losing power. What is your weather? Clear and calm. This is Titanic. CQD. Engine room getting flooded. Engine room getting flooded. Titanic. Are there any boats around you already? CQD. SOS. CQD. SOS. Nearly two hours after the collision, the situation was becoming desperate. The ship was sinking fast, and the wireless operators knew better than anyone that there was no imminent chance of rescue. Harold Bride later described the bravery of Jack Phillips. I suddenly felt for him a great reverence to see him standing there sticking to his work while everyone else was raging about. CQD. SOS. Engine room flooded. Engine room flooded. CQD. SOS. CQD. SOS. Baltic Titanic. Baltic coming 200 miles east. We are rushing to you. Olympic to Titanic. I'm lighting up all possible boilers as fast as we can. Cape Race to Virginian. Please tell your captain this. The Olympic is making all speed for Titanic, but the Olympic is 500 miles away from her. Virginian, you are much closer to Titanic. The Titanic is already putting women off in the boats, and he says the weather there is calm and clear. The others must be a long way from Titanic. Received. Okay. Putting on speed. CQD. CQD. SOS. SOS. This is Titanic. Carpathia to Titanic. Baltic coming to your assistance. Titanic to Carpathia. Come as quickly as possible, old man. The engine room is filling up to the boilers. Received.
Carpathia Titanic. Burma calling Titanic. Titanic to Carpathia. Come quick. She's taking water. It's full up to the boilers. Carpathia Titanic. All our boats are ready. We are coming as hard as we can, old man. Double watch on engine room. Have your lifeboats ready when we arrive. CQD, SOS, 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 CQD. This is Asian, calling Titanic. Frankfurt to Titanic. We are 100 miles off. What is the matter with you? Fool. You fool. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by and keep out. Keep out. Baltic to Coronia. We are heading for Titanic. But I can't agree to signals. Coronia to Baltic. Titanic. Give CQD and SOS. Her engine room is filling up to the boilers. Asian to Cape Race. Have called Titanic. But no reply. He cannot hear me. Baltic to Cape Race. Titanic's signal very weak. Do you have news of Titanic? We have not heard from Titanic for about half an hour. His power may be gone. V. V. SOS, SOS, CQD, CQD. Titanic, we are sinking fast. Passengers are being put into boats. Titanic. Virginian to Titanic. Cannot read your signal. You need to try your emergency set. SOS, SOS, CQD, CQD, Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. CQD, this is Titanic. We didn't realize she was going to sink. None of us did, you know. Because, as I say, she had been advertised as a, an unsinkable ship. Welcome back to this World Service Discovery Program on the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. It's now 2.20 in the morning on the 15th of April, 1912. The Titanic's powerful transmitter has gone silent. Jack Phillips had stayed at his post, even after the captain had released him from his duty. Minutes before the ship had gone down, and with the wireless room flooding, he had still been sending messages. While there had been chaos and confusion and terrible goodbyes as the last lifeboats had left the ship, Phillips had carried on trying to get help. He died some time after the ship had gone down, with unconfirmed reports that he had made it to a lifeboat, but had died of cold and shock before a rescue ship could arrive. His assistant, Harold Bride, had been more fortunate. He had ended up on an upturned lifeboat, where he spent a freezing night, praying aloud with his fellow survivors. There was confusion among the listening ships. They carried on calling, not knowing that the Titanic had already sunk promising that they were on their way and telling the Titanic to get ready for their arrival. Cape race to Titanic. Virginian suggests you try your emergency set. Have difficulties reading you. This is Virginian. Have you heard anything about Titanic? No. Keeping strict watch, but hear nothing more from Titanic. No reply from him. Titanic. If you were there, we are firing rockets. Carpathia Titanic, we are rushing to you. Have double watch in engine room, doing 16 and a half knots. Have your lifeboats ready. This is Baltic. 
Please tell Titanic, we are making towards her. We are 243 miles east of Titanic. Coronia to Titanic, Baltic is coming to your assistance. Burma to Titanic. Steaming full speed for you. She'll arrive you 6 0 in morning. Hope you are safe. We are only 50 miles now. Cape Race to Titanic. The Burma is coming to your assistance. Carpathia calling Titanic. Heading to you full speed, old man. We are seeing a flare coming from your direction. We are almost there. This is Prince Friedrich Wilhelm, Cooling Baltic, Wilhelm. Stand by on phones. Don't call. Okay. Nobody has heard the Titanic for about two hours. Everything is quiet. Frankfurt to Burma. Can you hear Titanic? No. We've lost touch. We are 30 miles southwest off Titanic. Olympic to Asian. Have you any further news of Titanic? No. She finished calling SOS at midnight. Have lost touch. Olympic to Cape Race. Have not heard from Titanic. Sorry. We've lost touch. With daylight came the slow dawning of what had happened. The Carpathia, which had raced to the rescue, could confirm to the waiting world the first sighting of survivors and the news that nobody wanted to believe. This is Carpathia. This is Carpathia. Titanic struck iceberg. Carpathia has passengers from lifeboats. Can you see Titanic? Carpathia calling all ships. Titanic foundered about 2.20 a.m. Carpathia picked up many passengers in boats. Baltic to Carpathia. I'm returning to give assistance. We'll be there about 4.30. Have you any idea how many were lost? Did you see Titanic? Carpathia calling all ships. The Titanic has gone down with all hands. As far as we know, with the exception of 20 boatloads, which we have picked up. Number not accurately fixed yet. We cannot see any more boats about at all. This is Baltic. Can I be of any assistance to you as regards to taking some of the passengers from you? We'll be in position about 4.30 local time. No need for passenger transfer. Tell your skipper we are leaving here with all on board. Everything okay. Proceed with your course to Liverpool. Received. Carpathia to Olympic. Arrived at Titanic's position at daybreak. We saw ice. 25 miles long. Solid. Saw a quantity of wreckage and number of boats full of lives. We raised about 670 souls. Titanic has sunk. She went down in two hours. Captain, chief, and all engineers are gone. We have two or three officers aboard. And the second Marconi operator, who had been creeping his way through water for several hours. Mr. Ismay is aboard. Olympic to Carpathia. Shall I meet you? And where? No. Don't attempt to go north. Many bergs, large and small. I fear absolutely no hope searching Titanic's position. The Californian is searching round. All boats accounted for. About 670 souls saved. Crew and passengers. Latter nearly all women and children. Received. Aim proceeding to New York, full speed, with Titanic's passengers on board. But it would take three more days before the survivors reached New York. 
this wait created an insatiable hunger for information. Millionaires and penniless emigrants queued to find out what had happened to their relatives. Governments demanded updates, and newspapers offered huge payments for what would be the scoop of the century. The Titanic was the first great global media sensation. Because of the wireless messages, the world outside knew that something terrible had happened, but it didn't know what. In the race to be first, there were garbled versions of the news based on misread parts of messages. Headlines on both sides of the Atlantic had reported the Titanic being towed into harbour with all the passengers safe. But the only way they could get the real story was through the wireless room of the Carpathia. Here, the younger Marconi boy, Harold Bride, having been pulled to safety, was once again sending messages alongside Jack Phillips's old friend, Harold Cottam. New York to Carpathia. New York to Carpathia. To Mr. Hurd, Carpathia. The Sun newspaper will pay handsomely for wireless dispatches about Titanic and exclusive starry when you land. Carpathia to Chicago Tribune. Carpathia picked up 700, mostly women, over 2,000 lost. Iceberg continuous mass 25 miles. Dr. F. H. Blackmar. New York to Carpathia. To Mr. Hurd, Carpathia. I want Titanic's pictures quickly. We'll pay well. Bob Holland. This is Cape Race, calling London. No news here. Reuters are getting news, one arm before us. Give us better service. Use cable. New York to Carpathia. Is Colonel Astor aboard? New York to Carpathia. To Harold Cottam, Operator Carpathia. Send us your story. Exclusively worth $200, tonight. From Jack Bins, The American Magazine. The messages sent by rescued passengers give a glimpse of their relief, disbelief, and the realisation that many of them had lost everything. One said simply, completely destitute, no clothes. Poorer passengers, worried about the cost of sending a message, kept it brief. Safe, but, was a masterpiece of succinctness and you wonder how much those two words would have meant to his family in Somerset when the message arrived. Carpathia to New York. Sending passenger Marconi grams. To Robert Goodman, New York. I am safe. Praying that Harry will be picked up by another steamer. Arriving Carpathia. Rene. Carpathia to New York. To Mr. Wolf, Cologne. Titanic sunk. Saved on board Cunard Line Carpathia. Completely destitute. No clothes. Alfred. Carpathia to New York. To Arthur Williams, Brooklyn, New York. Titanic sank. Peter and I, safe on Carpathia. Lost everything. Rebecca. Crowds on both sides of the Atlantic waited for the latest news of what had happened. But it was going to be Harold Bride's story, sold to the New York Times, that became the template for all the stories that followed. It had the understated heroism of Jack Phillips, staying at his post to the last and beyond. It had the band playing while the boat went under. It had acts of bravery and cowardice, and it had all the poignancy of the doomed glory of the great liner. But how did other wireless operators that night remember the events? Walter Gray, at Cape Race Station, was one of those young men who had to listen from afar to the wretched deaths of 1,500 people. I was officer in charge of Cape Race, Newfoundland, when the Titanic tragedy occurred. But I personally knew Phillips, the chief operator on that ship. He was a personal friend of mine. Whenever he was on watch and I was on watch, we knew each other's style of transmission. And very often we'd say how do to each other. That night, about 8 o'clock, half past 8 perhaps, I was on watch again, and um, 
he came on with about 30 of these messages, which I personally copied. And then I had a little check. So uh, I asked him how he liked the ship. Oh, he says she was a wonderful ship. There's a wonderful crowd on board, and they're having a wonderful time all around. Well, we chatted just loosely like that, and then I bade him good night. A couple of hours later, Walter's assistant ran in with the shocking news. When all at once, a chap named Godwin, my third operator, rushed in. And he said, my God, Grace, is the Titanic has struck a berg. And so I dropped what I was doing, and I rushed in, and I called Phillips, asked what we, what we could do to assist. So he told me to stand by, and he would get back to me, which I did. Meantime, he established immediate contact with a number of other ships. He was sending out both the CQD and the SOS, and ships would respond, of course. The Olympic, for instance, was outward bound from New York to uh, Southampton, but he was 500 miles away, and uh, he telegraphed the master of the, uh, of the Titanic to say that he was firing up an extra engine, and he was altering course, so they reduced the distance between the two ships and suggested that the master of the Titanic do likewise, because at that juncture, they <coughs> didn't think the Titanic was going to sink. She was supposed to be unsinkable. Well, of course, I was too busily engaged in uh, watching the whole proceedings that I didn't have very much time to think of Phillips, my friend, but uh, I was admiring him for the judgment he was using rather than fearful of his uh, death. But uh, he, slow he was a first-class operator in a fast, fast telegraphist, but he slowed down his speed from, say, 30 words per minute to 15 words per minute to make sure that every ship hearing the signals would, would, could readily copy it. And there was never a tremor from beginning to end throughout all of his transmissions, not once. And he, he kept the full story going about the condition of the weather, about putting women and, and children off in the boats, and, uh, and then he started to say, now sinking slowly by the head. And even when he said that, there was never a tremor out of him. And so presently, about half past one, Newfoundland time, uh, silence. Soon after that, uh, I was in touch with the Victorian, outbound from Montreal to uh, Liverpool, and he called me, and he, he was between me and the Carpathia. Carpathia, by the way, was about 350 miles from Cape Verde. Victor, Victor, Victorian said to me, he said, did you hear that? And I said, well, I heard uh, uh, signals that weren't really readable. He says, I think that he was trying to get on his emergency there. And then there was total silence. Well, nothing more was known until the Carpathia uh, managed to get messages through the Olympic and to us, telling all about having uh, proceeded to the scene and picked up everything that was to be picked up and was proceeding on its voyage to New York and so on. As soon as the survivors arrived in New York, there would be questions about how the disaster had happened and the wireless messages would provide some of the only real hard and fast evidence. It was clear that warnings of ice had been received, so why had they been ignored? And there would be demands for a swift change to the haphazard way that wireless had been organised on board ship. Investigators would be shocked to realise that one of the closest ships had turned off its wireless and had heard nothing of the Titanic's calls for help. But before getting to New York... The exhausted wireless operators had to complete one last duty, and that was to send back the names of more than 700 survivors. New York to Carpathia. It is vitally important that we receive names of survivors, including third class and crew. Please do your utmost to give us this information at earliest possible moment. White Star Line. New York to Olympic. To Commander Haddock Olympic. Are all Titanic passengers safe? Olympic to Carpathia. Can you give me names of survivors to forward? Carpathia to Olympic. Okay. Stand by. Mrs. L. P. Smith. Mrs. W. D. Douglas and maid. Mrs. J. J. Astor and maid. 
Mrs. Thomas Pierce, Countess of Roths, and Maid. Elizabeth Dowdell, Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon, Lady Duff Gordon, and Maid. Mrs. E. Mellinger, and Child. Mr. J. Bruce Ismay, and Manservant. Mrs. Nasser, Mr. J. Weir. Mrs. Nasser.